Hey guys, welcome to Poor Man Mods. This is part three of my IS300 1UZ swap. In the last video, we did a lot of test fitting with the engine and got it pretty much good to go, um, but it's not in its final resting place yet. This video is gonna be all about the transmission. The car from the factory had a W55, that's what I pulled out of it. I'm gonna be swapping in a W58 and I'm gonna show you um, how to make the W series transmission work with the 1UZ, but I'm also gonna show you how to do a W58 conversion in the IS300. There's a couple things that need to come off of my W55 to go to 58, and that's what this video will be about. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. The most important thing that needs to swap over is the shifter extension. This is the W55 shifter extension. This is the 58, and this one is too far forward. Um, I guess if you wanted to modify the dash and the trans tunnel, this would work, but we have to swap these over. And to swap them over, the rod basically inside the transmission has to swap over as well. So the back casing of the transmission has to come apart to swap this over. And I do have a gasket kit um, because there is a gasket right here. And that, gas that gasket set was actually pretty cheap. And I figure while I'm at it, I might as well at least do the seal back here too. I'll see what else comes with that kit, but it was only like 35 bucks for a gasket set for this. So we're gonna take apart the 55, get the parts out that we need and swap it over to the 58. Let's go. And sh I'll take off this piece and show you why it's a little bit more involved than you would think. This piece needs to swap over with the shifter extension. There's a bolt that secures it to this shaft, and in order to get it off this shaft, this whole rear housing needs to slide off. Remove this bolt. That was a bit harder to remove than expected because there was some Loctite on it. it looks like this section is held together with RTV and not a gasket, so it might be a little bit difficult to pry it apart. <laughs> We're separating the wrong part here. Beware when you do this, you're gonna spill a lot of fluid, so put a drain catch under there. Hey, making progress. Let's see how this can slide. Now here is the W58. See this guy? This wasn't even on the W55. So that's why we need to swap this over. So the one we just took off, the one you saw me just take off needs to come on this transmission. So we're gonna undo this bolt, take off the rear housing, just like you saw us do on the other transmission and swap it all over. We'll remove this cable speed sensor. The one for the IS300 is electronic. That's why we gotta swap it over. I've got my drain pan under here ready. I'm not sure how much fluid is in this bad boy. Oh boy. The gasket kit that I got came with a replacement gasket for here and on this side. Since I'm not taking this side apart, I'm just going to replace the gasket on here. And since it came with two of them, I'll use the one gasket for the W58 and the other for the W55, but I'm probably going to be selling the 55. Um, so yeah, I'll scrape this gasket off and proceed. All right, the gasket kit came with a output shaft seal, so I might as well replace it. Perfect. All right, let's get this gasket on. Okay, you just wanna get this started. You don't wanna shove it on all the way first. You don't wanna shove it on all the way yet. Then you need to get this guy on. Now 
Now we'll thread the bolt back in. Now that that's tightened, we can put these bolts back in. All right, here we go. When you get it back together, you should be able to you know, make this go back and forth both ways like you would have the shifter. So you know you have it right when it can do this. Now, this can go on. Gotta make sure this mates up with this. I just totally ripped the threads out of this thing. Son of a bitch. I was using a shorter bolt. So now, <laughs> this is gonna suck. I can use a slightly longer bolt because there's still threads in the transmission. God damn it, Bobby. Now we're gonna swap over the reverse switch. I believe this is for an SC300. And I'm gonna put my reverse switch in for the IS300. And you're gonna need a 27 millimeter wrench. The only difference is the pigtail. Okay, we got the W55 to W58 conversion complete. Now we're on to the bell housing conversion to make the W58 work with the 1UZ. This kit that I got from XAT Racing is for the W55 and 58, the W Series transmission. They have a similar kit for the R154 and some other transmissions too, but this will be a step-by-step -step for the W Series transmission. I got pretty much their Mac Daddy kit that comes with everything. Um, comes with a transmission bell housing adapter plate, a lightweight flywheel with uh, friction material that we have to install, a clutch and pressure plate, flywheel bolts, a GM style slave cylinder, and all the lines and everything to make it work. The bell housing is not included, but my good friend Donald Jackson uh, gave me this bell housing. He shipped it to me all the way from Japan. Didn't charge me anything for it, so thank you very much Donald Jackson for the bell housing. This is for a 1UZ automatic transmission. So these are pretty much a dime a dozen. He just wanted to get rid of it, so he gave it to me. So you need a 1UZ automatic bell housing to work with this kit. Should be pretty simple to do this. Uh, we, will have to drill, we will have to drill a hole in the bell housing for the lines, but other than that, it's pretty much bolt right up. So first thing we gotta do is get this off to get the adapter plate on. I wanna make sure this surface is really clean. Um, there was like a paper gasket on here from the factory, but XAT Racing recommends using RTV silicone. Got our RTV silicone in place. Now we can install this bad boy. The dowel pin right here and right here on the transmission, I think are interfering with this plate. So I'm gonna to try to remove these. It's not letting this plate sit flush. I skipped a step. Here is a seal that's supposed to go on this transmission plate. Uh, so gotta take this back apart, put the seal on. Now we can install the seal. Then we're gonna use the six provided bolts to secure this plate to the transmission. Here's the new throttle bearing assembly. It says to clock it in the position that's most convenient to you. There's a couple different pre-drilled hole settings here for it. I don't know which would be the most convenient for me, but the starter's right here, and it says it has to be above 90, 90 degrees. So you want these 
in this area. So I'm just gonna use these two middle holes here. I, I don't really know what will be the most convenient for me, but I do know that I will have to drill a hole in the bell housing. Probably gonna have to take this back off the transmission, but now we're gonna swap out these two fittings. There's a retaining pin right here that we have to knock out, and I think I'm gonna have to remove it, remove the throwout bearing from the transmission to get it out, but we're gonna see what happens. Now we can remove this guy. We're gonna replace it with this. Lube up the O-ring a little bit. Now you gotta grab a standard socket, 7 16 to remove this piece. This is the bleeder. Next, you're gonna open up this package and install this fitting onto the throwout bearing. Be very careful when working with this. I just uh, carried this over to my workbench to see what socket it was and it peed a little brake fluid on me. Now I think this can go back on the transmission. The particular kit that I got came with two three foot dash four AN lines. One is for the bleeder, one is for the feed that goes to the clutch master cylinder. Now you're gonna take this fitting that has a little bleeder in it and install it into this AN adapter and thread this fitting into the end of the AN hose. Now we can install the three countersunk bolts at the bottom. Okay, I put the bell housing onto the adapter plate and I'm trying to figure out the clocking for the throwout bearing. And I think this is where I'm gonna go. Um, we're gonna have to drill a hole or two in the bell housing here but I think this seems like the best spot. Um, so hopefully I don't mess it up, but I'm gonna drill two holes, one for each line right about here-ish. Okay, uh, I drilled two 11 16 holes in the bell housing right here. Let's see if this is gonna line up. First, what I'll do is just secure one of these bolts in here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, all right, our lines are looking good. Now we can install the rest of the bolts that secure the bell housing to the transmission. Apparently I lost the other bolt that goes here, so I had to find my own. For extra security, these nuts get installed on the back side. Get the rest of the nuts tightened up and we're pretty much finished with the bell housing conversion. I'm ready to install, well, I thought I was ready to install the engine to the transmission. And before I did that, it's a good thing I did that, I wanted to see if the shifter would work, just for shits and giggles, and it does not. This binds up as soon as I bolt it on, and I found out the reason why. So when I swapped this piece over, this piece is off the W55. This is the W58 transmission. This is the W58 shaft. Well, the threaded hole on this shaft for this piece on the W58 is half an inch further forward than the 55. And this will not work with that. So I need to take both transmissions back apart and also swap this shaft. I'm not going to film me doing that. You already saw me how to take it apart and the shaft just swaps over pretty easily. So I need to take the 55 and 58 apart again at the same time, swap these shafts over, and that's how you can make a 58 work with a 55 housing in an IS-300, hopefully. 
Okay, we are learning as we go here. I swapped out this rail, and so now this piece is about half an inch further back, and things are looking good, but I need to shim this. When I bolt this all the way down with the metal gasket that came out of my IS-300, it's bound up. But if I loosen the bolts, it, you know, it actuates freely. This gasket came off the W58. This is a thicker rubber gasket. I'm gonna stack these two this is basically a shim almost. It's so thin. But I'm gonna put this gasket on there with the metal shim on here and see if that's gonna free up the binding. All right, after putting the thicker rubber gasket and metal shim on there, the shifter works. We've got a fully functional W58 converted to work in a IS300 with a 1UZ. Sweet. At this point, we can also remove the factory clutch line from the Clutch Master and install this banjo fitting adapter into the master cylinder. And there we go, it can stay loosely installed for now. Okay, we removed the engine from the car, now we're going to install the pilot bearing. This did come in the XAT racing kit. Get it nice and flush with the crank, and we can install the flywheel. We're going to install the flywheel using the provided ARP flywheel bolts from XAT Racing. Now when you install these, you want to apply thread sealant to the threads, not lubricant. We're gonna get all, we're gonna get all the bolts installed and then torque them to 61 foot-pounds. I have a breaker bar with a socket on the front of the engine on the crankshaft to lock this in place for when we tighten them. Now we can torque them. About freaking time, good lord. Now let's get this XAT Racing clutch installed. It definitely does not want to sit on the dowel pins. You have to get the bolt started first and then draw it in. We're gonna torque these ARP bolts to 14 foot-pounds, and I'm going to put some blue Loctite on the threads. All right, sweet. All right, I think that concludes it for this part of the series. We got the transmission all together, bell housing converted, and it's mated to the 1UZ. Ran into a couple issues. I did not know you had to shift over that rod in the transmission. Um, that took a lot of troubleshooting for me to figure that out. Um, and for the transmission mount, I'm running an IS300 mount on the bottom of this transmission, but only two of the four bolts on the transmission mount are attached to the W58. Uh, I'm not sure how to get the other two to bolt to anything. The transmission is missing the bosses for the bolt holes. So it's just simply not there. But other than that, the bell housing conversion kit worked flawlessly. I will have a link to that whole kit in the description down below. The clutch that I went with, I believe, is the XAT Racing Stage 2 kit. Pretty mild. Um, it's not an extreme clutch. I mean, this is only going to be making slightly more power than factory just because of the headers. But other than that, it's pretty much a stock motor. So I didn't need, I did not need a crazy clutch for this. And another thing, um, I'm not sure if it's all W58s or just the particular one that I had, but that shift rod that I had to switch over, the one from the W55 works in the W58, but the rod from the W58 will not work in the W55 without modification. Part of the lever that goes in between the one, two, three, and four, and five in reverse, levers it's like too big so it will need modified um, so interesting but 
they are different. But the one will work in the other, but the one won't work in the other. Kind of confusing, I'm not sure why they're different, but we got this working out and the shifter works. Um, but now my W55, my old one, uh, is kind of inoperable at the moment. So if I go to sell it, I'm not gonna get top dollar for it, unfortunately. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. It definitely taught me a lot. I haven't done anything. I have not done this swap or anything like it before and honestly haven't done too much research. So I'm kind of learning. I'm kind of learning by flying by the seat of my pants. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.